Hello everybody, it's Mary Anderson. I'm with Lime Life. How are you? I am coming to you somewhat live today. I'm actually um, going to pre-record this so you guys are, so you can replay it and I can post it again and again. So I want to talk to you about how I kind of get ready and a few tricks that I've learned along the way that really has made a difference on my face and skin. So the first thing I've learned is um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is your eyes. Okay. And the first thing that I do is I grab a little bit of the number zero concealer and I'm going to go all around my eye area with this. This is going to serve as a primer for my eye shadow because you really want to make sure that you don't get that, oh, that horrible crease and that your eye makeup doesn't fade. Now with our eyeshadows, we are 50% pigmented. So a little bit of our eyeshadows really go a very long, long way. Same with our concealers and stuff. So first thing I do is I put on my um, some concealer as a primer, and then I'm going to take the lightest um, colored um, powder that we have and I'm just gonna go in and really set that concealer to my eye. Okay. All right, so that's what I do first. So basically I have primed my eye to make sure that the eye makeup that I put on will actually set and stay. Then I come in with a pretty big fan brush and I pick my all over eye color and I really, and that's what I do. And, and I blend that all over first as a good base color. And the one thing is, I will be honest with everybody, I have always gotten a lot of compliments on my actual eyeshadow because the way that I do it is I try to make it as bold as possible. So after that, now I've got my all over, I've already primed powder, put my base color on. So then I'm gonna come in with a very light taupe. And where, see my crease of my eye there? I have a round brush. And I'm actually gonna go a little bit above my crease. So when you look, and you look dead on, you will actually see color above my crease. So I go in and I find my crease and I go, and I don't go all the way in because that's, that is more for a smoky eye look. This is really for an everyday look, okay? And I always stop, look ahead, and make sure that you can see that color. Okay, so you can already tell, I've got some definition in my eyes. Then I'm gonna pick up, let me grab my, I should have prepared my brushes a little bit better, I guess, but I didn't. So then I take a very short, fine brush, and I got these on missa.com, and they were a dollar. They are the AOA brushes. They're a very, very, very nice quality brushes at a great price, and each brush is a dollar. Uh, my girl, Christy Sheffield, told me about it. I love that woman. I do. She has taught me so much about eye makeup and skincare. And I just, you want to make sure after you pick up your eyeshadow, you give it your brush a little tap. And then what I do is I come along this corner here, right along my eyelash line. And this one too, you're going to want to go up a little bit. Like that. And see, this is a great day look that I'm doing right now. And I'm sure you're like, Mary, why are you starting with your eye makeup? Well, I have found that if I do my eye makeup first, then my, because I always wear dark eyeshadow colors, I wear, I mean, look at my palette here. We got lots of dark browns and different colors. Aren't they pretty? Um... And so if I do this after my foundation, my color will get trapped in that foundation and it will add to my dark circles. So you always want to do your eyes first, okay? 
And again, doesn't take a long time. And then I'm gonna come back into, my, I have this old, old brush of mine, and it's a great blending brush. And this is the trick here, ladies. You wanna make sure that you go in and you blend all of this upwards. You don't wanna blend down. You wanna blend up and out, up and out. Okay. But we're not done yet. Mm -mm. Okay. Then we're gonna take another great a O A brush that was a dollar from missas.com and I take a white and I'm going to go in the corner of my eyes just like that and then up here to really highlight and then if I need to we're gonna clean up that edge I'll show you how to do that when I do my foundation tricks okay okay and yes, you want to go into the corner of your eye down here because that's really going to brighten your eye. Okay. All right. So take your other your powder brush and just go through it and blend in where you did that white at. And you're done. Okay. Now, I love liquid eyeliner. I have worn liquid eyeliner for years. And how many people are afraid of liquid eyeliner? Don't be, okay? Look at this fine tip, okay? So you just come in, and I always start the, and work, and you wanna get to as close as your eyelashes as possible. And this is water resistant, so you can wear this all day. It's not gonna flake, run, not gonna bleed up onto your eyelid. It's amazing. And look at the difference. Okay. This is why you want to, there is, and we've all seen women who, uh, who line their eyes up not close to their eyelashes and they got that white line there. So if you really want to go for that nice full lash look, this is how you get it. Just get right on in. Okay. All right, and that's how I do my eyes. Easy peasy, takes me just a couple of minutes in the morning. I'll finish up my eyebrows and everything else once I have my foundation on, and I'll talk about that when I do it. That's a great eye look. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use or would like to come over and try some eye products, let me know. I'd love to help you. Take care and have a great day.